we manly men want stuff on our video game screen to explode. We want enemies flying around, limbs and arms being shot off. We want swords, machine guns, and grenades at easy reach. And then we plug in a puzzle game. Games with average graphics and sounds, no gun battles or firefights, games with no bullets, no health meter, no magic potions. But what happens, ladies and gentlemen? That's right, we can't stop playing. And Chu Man Fu is no exception, as you take the role of either La La or Ling Ling. Twin sisters on a mission to defeat Chu Man Fu and his army of evil henchmen. Apparently, Mr. Fu has been sneaking around, stealing everyone's egg rolls and fried rice. Ho ho ho, bad Fu. Luckily, our heroes have some big balls. And they're colorful. You see, each ball is different, like the red ball, which can destroy an enemy in one hit. Or the black ball, which is good for breaking walls, but hard to push. To beat each area, Lala or Lingling Ling must juggle these balls and place them onto plates of the same color spread throughout the room, or destroy all the enemies on screen. Okay, grab your pencils. Now, Chu Manfu has a total of five areas. Each area has ten different arrangements, or rounds, plus five extra rounds at the end. Clearing these rounds completes a game. So therefore, each game has 55 rounds, and there are 10 games in all, making a total of 550 rounds. <sighs> you got all this? While the number of puzzles is immense, the strategy is a bit easier to chew on. The moving and placing of the colored balls is rather simple. While you also need to avoid enemies and use the balls as a means to attack, you can normally defeat a puzzle in a few tries or less. Obviously, the higher you get, the harder the difficulty is, thereby increasing your number of tries, but never fear. There is a password save feature, so you can always continue wherever you leave off. Special power-up items and weapons are also kind of fun to collect, like diamonds, fruit, stopwatches, earthquakes, beam plates, and many, many more. Some puzzles are extremely easy, while others can become frustrating, especially when the enemies start getting crafty by picking up or jumping on the balls, shooting at you from a distance, or hiding from attacks. But I never tossed my controller across the room during a game, so that has to count for something. The graphics? Well, I would say they are on par with other puzzle games. The ability of the Turbo Graphics to display tons of colors comes into play as everything is bright and vibrant. The characters are also large. For a puzzle game, it seems about right. The sound is a bit disappointing, though. The music is a mixture of average Oriental-like tunes that are not extremely exciting. And the sound effects really don't stand out or even make a dent in your ear pleasure senses. Luckily, the controls of your character are smooth. You can maneuver around tight corners easily, and attacking an enemy, breaking a wall, and collecting bonus items can be accomplished with ease. At times, you will swing around the corner by accident and get hit by an enemy. But for the most part, the controls are very solid, and this is a must for these kinds of games. The problem with Chu Man Fu is a lack of enough diversity to offset the large number of areas. The game resets after each 55th round. The next game is exactly the same as the previous, except the puzzles are a little more complex. The enemies are the same, the tricks to defeat them are the same, the graphics, sounds, and gameplay are essentially the same. And this, my friends, is a flaw that no puzzle game wants to have. Chu Man Fu does come with a handful of extra features. The ability to play the game with a friend in two-player mode is probably the best one. There is also a two-player kickball mode. Well, I'm, I think you can figure that one out. <laughs> and a feature which enables you to edit your own puzzles and save them for later. 
Even with these added goodies, Chu Man Fu will not hold your attention as long as other puzzle games. Especially not through all 550 areas. A hundred or so, and you'll call it quits, password or not. But it's still a rather enjoyable game with some unique features that will put a smile on your face for an afternoon or two. Chu Man Fu was one in a small string of puzzle games released during the early years of the Turbo Graphics. A mildly amusing cartridge, it has some unique goals and strategies that will continuously draw you in. But its extreme length and lack of diversity may also drive you away sooner than you hoped. In the end, I recommend Chu Man Fu if you're a fan of puzzle and strategy games, or if the thought of pushing around multicolored balls for some egg rolls gets you excited.